Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, I've got a run from the test server. Yes, I've managed to have a few goes using the gold pack, and I've been having a great time. I've been really enjoying it. However, in this run, this is actually one of my very first runs, and you'll notice that because with every single pet selection, I'm looking at what the pets are in the shop, what they do, how I can play them. And that's what it's gonna be like for the first few weeks of this pack, trying to figure out what the combos are, what works, what doesn't work. So if you don't wanna know what's in the golden pack or you don't want to see any spoilers, then turn away now because you're gonna see some builds in this run, you're gonna see some pets in this run. So there's my little warning for those who don't wanna see the golden pack before it actually gets released to the live server. But you'll see here with my team, I've got no synergy whatsoever. In fact, this run is pretty much I'm, I'm chalking this run up. We've got three HP, basically got one life left. And I'll go into the life system shortly. But I decide I want to try and run some kind of Dart Frog build. So I bring in the Slug, I bring in the Dart Ant, and there it is. There's the Dart Frog. I do find the Dart Frog. And although, yes, there's a new Penguin, unfortunately, I do have to sell the Penguin in this turn to bring in the Dart Frog and give myself a chance. <laughs> I mean, look at the stats. I've got no stats at all at this point. But what does the Dart Frog do? Well, the Dart Frog works off of the trigger of the pet in front. So when the pet in front faints, it will snipe the highest HP pet on the opposing team. That's what the Dart Frog does. And the first snipe is four. At level two, it snipes eight. And at level three, it snipes 12. So by putting the Slug in front, the Slug will trigger three times. Because when the Slug dies, it spawns a smaller Slug. And when that Slug dies, it spawns the smallest Slug. So you get three triggers off of the slug. You then get a trigger off of the door head ant. So then when the slug faints, the door head ant then fills that gap at the front of the team. And then you get a snipe off of that as well. So you get four snipes from the slug and the door head ant. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out quite how I had hoped in this run because the door head ant actually comes forward a little bit early. Thankfully though, we have the wolf and it spawns those three pigs and we're able to still get that run over the line. Now, we bring in Onion here and what does Onion do? Well, when I was going through the golden pack for the very first time, I saw Onion and it read, move your pet back one space once per turn. And I was like, what are you gonna use that for? Honestly, that seems pointless. Well, how wrong I was because it synergizes so well with this team. When the Dart Frog becomes the very front pet, it will then move back one space, which is actually perfect because it moves it behind another pet where it will be able to get another trigger. And you can just see here, it's just popping off. And there's a prime example where it moves behind the wolf and it could then do a further two snipes, one off the wolf and then one off the pig. We're loading up on the Dart Frog because we want to get the Dart Frog to level three. That's the idea behind this build. But there is also something else I need to introduce, and that is the new life system. So the new life system doesn't work like the old one where you take a uh, capped out three, uh, three heart loss if you lose beyond tier three. In this, you actually lose the number of hearts based on the number of pets remaining on the opposing team. And it's capped by the tier in which you're on. So if you're on tier four, the maximum number of hearts you can lose is four, even if there are five pets on the opposing team. So the life system is very different. It does mean the runs can go on a little longer because even in the late game, if you manage to chip the opponent down to just one pet, you're only gonna lose one life. We actually sell the wolf here because we get more triggers off of the slug. And you can see here, that's eight damage, there's 16 damage. Then we've got 24 damage from the dart frog. The door head ant comes forward, 32 damage, and then we get another slug. So you, the damage you can get off of this dart frog is insane. And I haven't mentioned the flying fish. The flying fish is actually like a mini turkey. So every time the slug spawns, the flying fish actually gives it some small stats. And we do get the dart frog to level three. So that means it now has the ability to trigger three times off the first slug, three times off of the second slug, and also off the door head ant. And just look at this, it just plows its way through. I think it's something like 80 plus damage you can get just with this combo. And there you have it. Turn 13 win. Look at those stats. Honestly, I've only played a couple of games. This one um, was one of my favorites and I think this combo is just completely broken. If you're playing on the test server, give this a go, try it out, tell me what you think. Hopefully you've enjoyed this run as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.